Greetings there guys, it's Fiat coming to you with a not very helpful but nonetheless interesting video about Bloodborne. I'm standing here in Kanehurst Castle right after this psychopath here, it's Alfred by the way, completed his handiwork. Fucking sadist. And uh, as you all know from this point in the game you can get the queenly flesh that can be used to spoilers alert revive Annalise later on in the game after defeating Ebrieras what I hadn't spotted before had paid attention to before is the fact that if you inspect the throne a second time it says it writes early and I thought that it was just a bit of poetic spice in the game like placed by the creators but if you pull out your monocular here and look closely and carefully you can actually see the remains move on their own accord like the guts of Annalise are still alive on her throne and they're moving about like these vile blood fuckers man they're resilient folk I have to give them that so that's a tiny bit of detail here the kind of detail from software always gives uh, and throws around in their games just wanted to point this out, uh, the rest of the Queen's quest can be found in the link provided in the description and in the vid itself, so you wanna know how to revive her and be able to continue on collecting drags for her and advancing in the Vileblood Covenant, you can just check that out. It's been filed guys, I hope you found this interesting, don't forget to sub and like it, and I'll see you on the next vid. As always, stay frosty, be well and strive for perfection people.